So hi there, Stan Crew. Welcome to creating your uh, teaching portfolio. And what I'll try to do today is just talk a little bit about how you're going to use your uh, Gmail address that you created and a, um, a free tool called Google Sites to make your own education portfolio. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're actually going to head to the Stand website. And you can get to the Stand website by going to stand.keencommons.net. So the address is right there in case you need it. Um, so head there first. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're actually going to open up another tab and we're going to sign into Google. So go ahead and open another tab in your browser, head to google.com, and then what I want you to do is click on the big gray sign in button in the upper right hand corner. Then go ahead and put in your email address and your password to sign into your Gmail account. So once that's all done, actually head back to the stand page. You'll see I'm going to click right on the tab um, that's open to the stand page already. And what I'm going to click on is the Alumni Portfolio tab. And from this tab, I'm going to click on the link called Learn About How to Create Your Own Educational Portfolio here. Now from this page, look down at the bottom and click right on KSC Stand Portfolio Template. So I've made a template for you to make this really easy. The next thing you're going to do is click right on that big blue Use Template button, and then we're just going to walk through a few easy steps to set up your website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give your site a name, um, and it needs to be a unique name. So for example, the way that I created mine was I um, gave it my name and then followed that with Teaching Portfolio. So there's my exciting, wonderful name, lovely, um, Teaching Portfolio. And you might have to try this a couple times to make sure that you find something that's unique and available. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on this More Options button and select only people I can specify to be, can view this site. And this is just to make sure that not everyone in the world can take a look at my portfolio while I'm building it. Then I'm going to fill out the little captcha here at the bottom to prove to Google that I am in fact human. Um, and then the next step is to click the big red Create button at, top, at the top of the page. So congratulations, you've built your website here. Um, and what I've done is I've given you a few kind of slotted in uh, pages already to make this a little bit easier. So using Google Sites is really easy. It's in fact very similar to using Microsoft Word. And there are just a few things that we need to know as we start to navigate these web, uh, web pages so that you can have a sense of how they work. So the first really important thing to know about is there's a big kind of pencil icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen, and this is the edit button. When you click the edit button, it allows you to edit the content of your page. So once you click that button, you can add text to images, videos, all sorts of things, and you'll notice that this little formatting bar shows up. And the formatting bar allows you to make text bold, italic, underline, change the font size, change the kind of text, all the kind of things that you would be able to do in Microsoft Word. One of the other really important things to think about is there's this button up here in the uh, drop-down menu, rather, up here in the top called Layout. And Layout allows you to create different kinds of sections in your pages. So, for example, I can have two content areas where I can put text and pictures in two spaces, um, or I can make it three spaces. You'll see here in a second. I'll click on Layout again and actually select three columns, and that will change it so there are three columns in the, um, across the page. I could make it um, so there was one column with a header and a footer. I could make it so it was one column without a header or, footer, header or a footer. Um, this is just a different way to organize the text in your page, and is really useful, I think. When you're done, you're going to click on the big blue Save button in the upper right-hand corner, and you're all set. So take a few moments, look at the different pages that are set up for you, think about the kind of information that you might put on those pages, and experiment with inserting text, editing text, or formatting your pages. We'll um, talk a little bit later about how to insert images and a few other things as well.